Hello and Namaste. My name is Nadeen Aguri and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk about something that a lot of you have asked my opinion on. We all know in the last couple of days, ICAI decided to cancel and call off the May 2020 exams. It was already on the lag in the sense that from May they moved it to June and then July, then it was supposed to happen in July end. And then because of the current situation, the pandemic, um, they've decided to cancel it because it's not feasible to conduct exams anymore. The exams are not supposed to be merged with the November 2020 exams. And as soon as the notification came out, a lot of you reached out to me asking me about how I feel, what are my suggestions, what are my thoughts. So today I'm going to talk about all of that, everything that I feel and everything that I can give you as a suggestion about what to do to make sure that you're utilizing this time that you right now have in the best possible way. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments how do you like it and what are your questions and your thoughts. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. On that note, let's go and get straight into the video. So to answer your question, a lot of you asked me, what are my thoughts? How do I feel about this whole canceling the exam, merging it with November 2020? Do I have mixed feelings about it? Do I have any feelings about it? Uh, let's be very honest and real here. Exam I'm not writing, exam you are writing. So how do I feel about it? What do I feel about it? I don't think that matters, to be very honest. And honestly, it is very difficult for me to be in your shoes, to put myself in your shoes and feel the anxiety and the stress that you're going through right now. Because when I wrote my CA exams, things were pretty straightforward for me. Exam kaise or kab hogi, it was very certain. So it was very certain that how the exams would be conducted. It was very certain um, in terms of there was no pandemic, there was nothing crazy going on. Also the job market that I was going to enter after becoming a chartered accountant was also very, very certain because we had gone through a recession. Um, I did my CA in 2013 and the recession hit in 2007-8. So we'd kind of recovered from it. There was no sign of any other, um, you know, GDP decreasing or any other recession. So for me, things were very certain. Yes, there is a lot of anxiety that comes with just writing the exam. But can I really understand how do you feel at this point? Not at all. I mean, honestly, at this point, if you say to someone, I understand how you feel, I understand how you feel, maybe they understand that you are stress and anxiety, but they don't understand that you have a lot of pressure on your pressure. Because there is a, uh, you know, there's a coronavirus out there, so there's a pandemic that we're all going through together. Then there is an uncertain job market that you guys will enter once you become a chartered accountant. And so really only you understand the pressure and only you understand how much sadness and negative vibes it's created in your life. No one else has. So please stop looking for anybody else's opinions, thoughts, because it doesn't matter. What you feel is what you feel. On that note, in this video, I'm going to tell you three things that you can do to make sure that you are utilizing this time to the best of your ability. And why am I doing this? Well, because, you know, I honestly believe that in the end, whatever exam you're writing and whatever degree you have, whether it is CA, CS, CMA, CPA, CCA, anything, you know, whatever you degree is degree, hoti hai, yaar, you know, it can only get you from one end to the other. What about the real world after that? You still have to face the real world after that, no? And no degree can make you prepared or uh, it can definitely give you the technical skills, but it cannot get you 100% prepared for the world after that. So why not use this time right now and make sure that you are prepared for the world that is coming for you? And so what are the three things that you can do to make sure that you are prepared for the real world that is waiting after you once the exams are over? Because the way I look at it is, irrespective of the results, irrespective of whether you pass in November 2020 or not, you have to be prepared for the market. You have to be prepared to get a good job or to get a good business opportunity out there. So how can you do it? Well, three things. The first thing that I'm going to recommend is you should upskill yourself. I know you're spending a lot of time with your books, your course material, you are doing revisions, re-revisions, revision test papers, mock papers, pitchly papers, etc. You're doing a great job at that. But right now, you need to probably take some time, carve out some time from your regular schedule and figure out what additional courses can you do or what additional skills can you garner so that you have a competitive edge when you enter the market. 
एंड हाउ कैन यू डू दैट वन टू वेज पेड एंड अनपेड पेड अगर आप नहीं कर सकते हो दैट इज कंप्लीटली फाइन देर आर अ बंच ऑफ अनपेड कोर्सेज दर आर अवेलेबल आई हैव पर्सनली यूज कोर्सेरा कोर्सेरा के कोर्सेज मुझे बहुत अच्छे लगे थे एंड आई डन अ कपल ऑफ कोर्सेज विद दैम विच वर अनपेड आई ऑल्सो यूज यू डेमी बट आई डन अ पेड कोर्स ओवर देर सो आई एम नॉट रियली श्योर आई एम श्योर दर आर अनपेड ऑप्शन टू सो लुक अप दीज टू वेबसाइट एंड गो एंड जस्ट गूगल यू फाइंड अ बंच ऑफ वेबसाइट्स that offer online courses for free so what are the kind of courses that you can do right now um you can study something like excel you can study something like microsoft um advanced excel microsoft office which would include microsoft access maybe some financial modeling if you're interested in it maybe some data analytics if you're interested in it maybe some coding python tableau any of these if you're interested in it abhi ye sab kuch because of the pandemic kafi sare courses ya to reduced prices mein offer ho rahe hain aur you're getting them for literally free uh what i do know is ki agar aap free version karte ho then you do not get the certificate which is completely fine um as long as you have the knowledge if you want the certificate there is a minimal fee that is uh, associated with it so i recommend either of it whatever is your budget try and get one or two of these skills so that you can put it on your resume and of course it's also going to enhance your own personality as a professional and when you're going out there interviewing after 6 months jab aapke exams aur ye sab khatam ho jate hain irrespective of the result you have a competitive edge over you know the rest of the people so that was number 1 which is upskilling number 2 is trying to get some kind of work experience now i know ki pandemic hai it's not very easy to go out find a job etc so if you're not able to find a job then what you can do is you can either look for some digital online internships um i would say don't really focus on the money aspect right now because you're only looking at something short term 2 to 3 months it could be anything it doesn't necessarily have to be related to finance it could be anything it could be something like digital marketing social media who knows kuch bhi karo yaar kuch out of the box karke socho or if you don't want to do any kind of internship or if you don't want to do any of these short term you know crazy out of the box things then what you can do is you can probably shadow some people in your family and see what they do in their work day that's going to give you a very good sense of what a regular work day looks like for not just for your family but for a regular corporate professional so it could be your parents um if your parents have a business maybe ask them if you can look at the books of accounts or if you can just you know shadow them for a day if you have a sibling who's working somewhere neighbors uh, you know of course people in close proximity you don't want to travel somewhere very far because that increases your exposure to the virus itself but anybody who's close by and is safe and is somebody that you've been seeing regularly then yes i do recommend shadowing them uh, what workx will really do is it'll help you not just give a competitive advantage it'll also help you understand the reality of what we go through as professionals on a daily basis and once you are in that interview room having any kind of experience really helps so number 2 definitely consider getting a little bit of work experience and of course if you ask me for suggestion i'm going to say please try something crazy and something out of the box uh, if you wanted to write make sure you're writing contributing your article somewhere if you want to paint um, that's fine too if you want to do like i said anything related to internet social media do that do anything do something out of the box so that it gives you a little bit of space to enhance your own skills and uh, makes you shine amongst other candidates Number three, working on your resume, personality, and LinkedIn. I always think that your professional personality, your LinkedIn, and your resume go in a tandem. Or me, as I say, you know, jinka personality bhot sahi hoga, jo professionally, jinki personality bhot achhi hogi, those people are not going to have a very crap LinkedIn or a very crap resume. It just doesn't work that way. That's what I've seen in all these years of experience that I've had. So I recommend you working on your LinkedIn resume. and your professional personality what i do intend to do is i do want to have a webinar a free webinar uh, for resume building i am talking to some experts in the field and i do want to make sure that i have some help available to you for that apart from that i'm also i keep doing a bunch of webinars on linkedin so you know they are free go watch them come in uh, you gain some experience you'll definitely gain some knowledge and start working on your professional personality i'm not asking you to do anything paid or crazy you don't have to invest any money just invest your time a little bit figure out um you know what are the kind of answers you want to give figure out what is the kind of personality you want to have as a professional uh, work on your linkedin make sure you have a good linkedin profile as a professional make sure you have a good resume you're well prepared for the market 
So those are the three things, guys. Upskill yourself, get some work ex, and work on your professional personality. I hope that you will find some time and invest in all of these three things. Of course, it is important to remember that you still have to do what you were doing before. So you still have to make sure that you are studying, um, doing your revisions, doing everything that you were doing before. Just take a little bit of break. Um, I also recommend maybe finding time for a hobby, but it is not something that, you know, is professionally not something that I'm going to be like, okay, do it. But if you want to take a break, then definitely consider going back to one of the hobbies. What I do recommend you to not do at all is don't get crazy. I'm getting a lot of messages about people who are like, ma'am, I'm CPA, ma'am, I'm ACC. I would say stick to CA. Pehle aap jo kar rahe ho, usse karo. November mein exams honge, nahi honge. Abhi se iske baare mein mat socho. Prepare yourself for the world. Prepare yourself for the reality. No degree can prepare you for that. So do what you can do. Try to control things that are in your control. And don't try to go too crazy. And definitely don't let the anxiety get the better of you. Ab jo kar rahe hain, us pe focus karein. Or jo bhi aap karna chahate hain, additionally, apne aap ko develop karne ke liye as a professional, us pe focus karein. Don't try to go too crazy. Definitely don't think about giving up just because exams nahi ho rahe, etc. And while you're doing all of this, I do want to tell you that I know this is not the best space to be in. We're all fighting the pandemic in our own ways. I want to remind you that all the problems and all the struggles are. Someone's job is gone, someone's graduation after graduation, someone's job is not getting a job, someone's exam is not getting a job. We are all worried and we are all suffering from somewhere else and struggling. But you have to make the best of it because really what other option do we have, right? We have to be positive and we have to keep working hard towards our goals. Because we only have one life, so we have to dream it and we have to live it. So you can see all your dreams, you can see them and you can see them and you can see them and you can see them. I hope you have helped this video. If this video has helped you, don't forget to hit down below on the big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share this video with a friend. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you guys take care of yourselves, of your loved ones. Stay healthy, stay safe and keep smiling. Bye.